all, and welcome back to another wonderful video. Today, I am here in Nippone Town to talk about controllers and uh, alternative methods of controlling Pony Town. There are many ways to play Pony Town, many devices that you can play Pony Town on, and many controllers that you can use. Currently, you may not notice this, but I am using a PS4 controller to actually move around Skella and turn my head and boop and things like that. But did you know that is pretty much the extent of the controls that you have when you use a controller. Same thing goes for an Xbox One controller. You can also, of course, use an Xbox One controller, and the same things happen. You can boop, you can, you can, uh, you can open the chat but not type, at least if you're on a computer. If you are on console, then you can type a message because the console will recognize that you are able to type a message and it will bring up the little chat bar thing. But on PC, there is never a reason to use controller because, well, the only way to open a chat is to press X and then there's no method to actually type other than use your keyboard and, well, let's face it, if you were using your keyboard, then, well, you wouldn't have been... <laughs> You wouldn't have you wouldn't have been using a controller to begin with so So that is pretty much the extent that you can do now Of course you can zoom in and you can interact with things if you press circle so I can pick up this lantern for example uh, Through the wall perhaps if I'm there we go if I'm if I'm skilled enough <laughs> But other than that, there isn't really much that you can do. I can, of course, get myself a banana and eat that banana if I want to. But like I said, when it comes to a controller, there's only about four things you can do, at least if you're connected to a computer. If you're connected to a computer, you can start to type a message, but not type a message. You can boop, you can zoom in, but you can't zoom out. The only way to zoom out is to literally just zoom in until it eventually just decides that it's going to zoom out because you've reached the max zoom. Uh, and, of course... I don't know if I mentioned it already, but you can turn your head and boop. So there's not much you can do with the controller. So the question is, why is the controller still supported in Ponytown when there's literally nothing you can do with it? Now, of course, I can come on here and, and spam around like this or something like that, but I can do that on a keyboard. I can do that on uh, mobile. I can do that on literally anything. So why ever use a controller? I'm genuinely asking you guys right now, how many of you have used a controller on Ponytown, and how many of you enjoy that? But moving on from the controller, we of course have PC controllers, which I will switch to right now. PC controls, of course, being the absolute best controls that you could have in the game, because again, we can do this, we can turn our head, we can boop, we can sit down, or well, hang on, sit down, <laughs> turn our head, stand up, we can even fly if we want to, all those kinds of things like that. It's very simple and easy to do all these simple things, but on a controller, well, we can't really do that. Turn, turn my eyes, I can even move my eyeballs around, look at that, my eyeballs are doing a thing. I can roll my eyes because I'm on keyboard, I can reset my expression with a single button, I can do any of these other actions such as uh, booping or, or equipping a shovel, which you can't even equip an item or build whatsoever on controller. So again, the question is, why would you ever use a controller? Because you are taking a third, if not half, of the game away from yourself by using a controller. Even if you are on a console, which I, I have to admit that I was not on a console when using controller. Here, I'll switch to my controller again real quick. I'm not on a console right now. I'm still on my computer. But the question is, what is the point in ever using a controller, even if on console? Because not a lot of consoles are able to play Ponytown. For example, I can use my PS4 controller all I want to control Ponytown, but if I use my PS4, I can't play Ponytown. Uh, same thing with a 3DS. You can't play Ponytown on a 3DS. You can't play Ponytown on um, a lot of consoles and gaming systems and things like that. I don't think you can play it on a Switch. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't have a Switch, so I was not able to test that, but I've never uh, seen or heard anyone talking about being able to play on, on Switch. You can't play on a lot of different gaming systems, so why is it supported? <laughs> it's, it's just this weird question of, like, is is this even a thought in the devs' heads right now? Of like, do they even think about the fact that like controllers are a thing that you can use in the game? There's even uh, now this one is going to throw you guys for a loop, but you can actually use one of those steering wheel controllers if you map the controls properly. It's actually possible to do. Now that one's even more difficult, but uh, it, we, I, I'm honestly at a point right now where I'm questioning. How far do you want controller support in Ponytown? Like, how much do you want controller support? Should that be something that is thought about a lot? Is that something that, you know, the devs should focus on and think about as they as they release more updates? Should they give us, you know, building controls and things like that on controller? Is it even possible to get building controls on controller? What 
do you think about that? Like, honestly, genuinely, what do you guys think? Because I'm, I'm very curious, and it's just something that I kind of wanted to bring to everyone's attention, that controllers probably shouldn't be supported. <laughs> <laughs> like should they should they be supported? I don't know if they should be. Let me know in the comments below like I said before Let me know if you think they should be supported and uh, back to more controllers. We obviously have mobile support so if I was to play the game on mobile, which uh, I can switch to here in a moment uh, and kind of just show you guys that as I talk, it'll just be some background gameplay. I can, of course, do things like uh, build. I can completely build on mobile. I can completely chat on mobile. I can completely do anything that I can do currently on PC that I can on mobile. Both of them have the same options and things like that. Now, granted, and honestly, it is a lot harder to control mobile and everything like that because obviously there's limitations limitations for example you have to tap the screen twice to place an object whereas on pc you just drag it and then you just tap the screen or i mean click the screen once and it places the object uh it's very easy to switch between you know tools and things like that on pc because they're all mapped to different keys and things like that so there's obviously limitations that uh, mobile has which can never be fixed if we're being honest with ourselves there's never going to be a way to properly fix those those issues but it is supported so again we have something that is supported and it honestly Honestly, needs to remain supported. We need mobile controls to remain supported, and uh, we had that obviously that big update recently where we were able to place multiple walls and multiple floor tiles and things like that on mobile. So that was extremely helpful and extremely good. But the question is, like I said, should controllers be supported? Should they have similar controls to mobile? Should they be able to do things like they can on mobile, um, except even worse? I, I personally like the idea of being able to use a controller just because of how funny and goofy it is. But at the same time, like, what is the point? No one is picking up a controller to play Ponytown. And if they are, they, they really need to just pick up their phone instead. <laughs> like, honestly. But there you have it. Like I said, I just really wanted to talk about this and kind of just almost rant about it in a way. Why is controllers still being supported? And um, it, should that be something that's focused on? I, I don't know, but I would sure as heck love to see what you guys think in the comments below and everything like that. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to end the video on that. It's a really short video and a little bit different than what I normally do. But I got to be honest, it's just something really interesting that I wanted to talk about. Maybe I could bring on a guest or something and do a whole podcast about controller supports and things like that but there you have it like i said i do hope that you enjoyed if you did please do consider liking subscribing sharing and doing all those wonderful things like that because when you do those wonderful things like that not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this but you also get to become one for yourself and i think we all want that so do those wonderful things and until next time stay wonderful